Rick, the way John Fulkerson has played in particular in SEC games, do you think he's deserving of first-team SEC? I don't know if I would say all that. I haven't looked at all the entire league because it's been a long year, but but he's played like an all-SEC player for us. I mean, when you think about uh, how we've been up, play this way, that way, but, uh, you know, he's done a terrific job, especially going into every game, knowing that people are game plan for him first and foremost. And uh, he doesn't get much of a break on the defensive end either, but uh, he's had a he's had a terrific year. He really has. I, but when you look back at the whole league, I, I don't know if I can answer it. In my mind, do I think he's an all-SEC player? No question. Do you think you've had to push him for him to understand how good he can be? I'll have to do it again today, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but he, uh, he, yeah, I mean, he's a very humble, gentle, really just as pure a kid as you've ever been around. And uh, he's, uh, there's not one selfish bone in his body. And uh, sometimes coaching to get someone to understand that, you know, there's so much more they can do. And uh, it's not, and he's not doing it out of selfishness or anything. It's just that he's such a team guy, but uh, and sometimes it takes guys a little bit longer to realize there's so much more they can do and how they can impact the game. And, uh, but, but yeah, he's, again, I still think he can do, do more. Be nice to bottle the the heart that he's got, uh, and, and and show the other players that hey, this is what we need all the time. Well, that started a year ago. I, I mentioned after game the other night. You know, Grant and Kyle and Admiral, everyone, because you know we watched him in practice, you know, for four years. And uh, but he's with his personality. He's again. He's there's no jealousy or any of that with him. He just in his mind felt like there was a role he had to play, and now that role has expanded. He's again, and it will continue to expand. Uh, as he continues to embrace it and understand it more and, and realize that uh, he's got to be ready every night. Coach, you talked about the two guys on the Monday uh, for Senior Day coming up tomorrow, but uh, once again, it's a special day for them uh, with Auburn coming to town and them being honored talking about Jordan Lamonte. Well, it is. Senior Day, you know, is a, a, a day that, again, it's, it's hard to believe, quite honestly. That, you know, Lamonte was our very first recruit when we got here and, and Jordan uh, being from here and the impact that both of those guys have had is, is probably more than people really realize. And uh, very, very tough for Lamonte to put what he had put into our program and really knowing that this would be the year that he had probably gunned for all along and then having to step away from it because of the injury. And uh, Lord knows he didn't want to do that, but he had just taken it as far as he could take it. And, uh, and we could see the, the hurt and the frustration on his face because, again, another guy that's a great teammate. And, and with Jordan, uh, you know, I don't know there's a more better life player that I've ever coached on the team. And he's been a big part of a lot of, a lot of uh, wins here. And he, uh, I think now he's one of the top 25 all-time league scorers. But uh, both of them are just as solid as you could expect from anyone and guys that you really enjoy being around every day. Coach Josiah, the last two games, is, 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 it, is it purely a result of being healthier or is he getting, you know, gaining confidence and just kind of figuring out what, what he needs to do? I think a little bit of both. I don't think there's any question he's probably the healthiest that he's been at any point in time this year. And, uh, you know, it's hard to get the kind of confidence that you really want to have when you're in and out of practice, when you don't feel like you're in rhythm with your teammates and you don't feel like you're in sync with where we are at that point in time during the season. And, uh, you know, he's missed practices some extensive time at some very important time. But uh, so I, I think it's a combination of, of uh, him, you know, being healthier than he's probably been. And the fact that um, he's been able to be a little bit more consistent, being able to practice more. And that always carries over. Is that what you, I mean, he's led you in rebounds and assists the last two games, something, two, two things, you know, that a lot of players can't do. I mean, is that kind of what you envisioned from him? Yeah, there's no doubt, you know, uh, He's a player, I think, going forward, too. I mean, I, I think he's going to be able to impact games in more ways than anybody. When you think about uh, as he continues, to, again, to improve and, and get his confidence, whatever word you want to say, feel for what you're doing offensively. But the way he can impact the game on the glass and with his length is, is important. And uh, But he's uh, – and he has improved more than people think, uh, probably. I, again, I don't know what people think about that, but we've watched him get better and improve, and we just hope, again, that uh, like all freshmen you have this time of year, they're, they've been through it. They're closer to being sophomores than, he, than they are freshmen, and you'd like to see him continue to learn. Like the other night, for instance, I mean, he was more aware of the clock 
in the score than any time that he's been here. And that's a big step for a guy that is going to have the ball in his hand, something he's really aware of what's going on during the game. And so he's he's made the strides. And again, uh, what he's gone through, it's, it's been a tough, long year for him, but yet he's hung in there and he stayed with it. And, and I think he is starting to get a feel for it. Was the other night one of the bigger P. Fonz performances of his career and the number of shots he's been? Yeah, and I think you go back over the last five or six games, I think he's played every minute except maybe 15 of them. And, uh, and he's a, you know, warrior, whatever word you want to give him. I mean, he's he's just going to he's, he's gonna play. He's going he's gonna to do whatever he has to do. He's has guarded multiple positions on the floor. And uh, But when he's starting to make shots, and he, and, he, and he was confident the other night. I kidded him about the pass that was – that he lost out of bounds. And I said, what were you thinking? He said, I was getting ready to pull it. You know? <laughs> and uh, so, but he, he had that kind of confidence and it's good when he has that. But uh, again, he and Folky, the work they have to do on both ends is really, and the minutes they're playing is pretty remarkable. That's why we still need those other guys. I, I know we talk about that a lot, but the minutes that those guys have gone in, whether it's two, three, whatever it may be, that they're really important do you minutes. keep the same practice routine when the Five or six guys are playing the minutes. They're mm -hmm. playing 36, 39. Yeah, we, you know, we this, you know, February is a month where we start tapering back, and you know, we, uh, I think once you get into February, you're not going to get them in better shape. I think you got to keep them in shape, and but I also think you've got to keep them fresh mentally, and uh, probably the mental part is more important at that point in time because they're not going to get out of shape because they're playing two hard games a week. We believe in three tough workouts a week, and. Uh, but that's tough doesn't mean long. It means intense and get our work done. Now, depending on them, it's how long it really turns out to be. But, uh, but yeah, we, we will continue to do that and as well as the guys that aren't playing, making sure that they don't get out of shape because their minutes are going to be important. Yeah, how important is it to start getting more from the bench knowing that you've got the SEC tournament and back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back potential next week? Yeah, it's important. And, again, I, I do think those guys are in a, in a good place. I mean, you go back, uh, again, Devontae and Jalen both did a nice job up there. Um, Urosh goes in and he, he's got to stop over fighting for, I mean, he can't turn the ball over, but, you know, begging for the ball because that's not what we're expecting him to do right now. But but he played hard and he did the things that we wanted done. But, and Olivier, I, I don't think there's any question, he, he, he would have been ready to go. It just didn't work out that way. And so, yeah, I, I think it's important for those guys to keep to stay ready because they're going to they're going to definitely be called on and we're going to need them. What's Drew? What's Drew Pember's status? Is there any change in that? I haven't looked. You know, until they come up and tell me that. Uh, again, I told you guys before. I don't pay much attention to the uh, whatever they send out every day. Whoever's out there, I'm going to coach, and whoever's not, I'm not. You know, and uh, but we'll, you know, I, I think he's making progress, but he, uh, but they haven't. I haven't looked at it today. About Auburn, is it helpful to your guys that you had a 17-point lead? You can throw that film up and say, Here, here's what we did to, to get in that position? Well, I, they can see that. I think they from the Florida game, and I said it, and I really believe this. I think what happened in the Florida game helped us the other night. I mean, we, uh, during one of the timeouts, we talked about, hey, you know, Florida was down 17, 18 points, and we talked about they have to change. The, they had to change the game. Now we're going to have to change the game. We're going to have to – make plays on the defensive end, hope we can turn them over and get out and get some easy baskets. And then on the other end, we, we got to make some shots, and but we got to get aggressive. And uh, so I think every game you can learn from them. And, uh, but it's a matter of when the lights come on, you've got to execute. How much different are they with their core? They're different. He's a terrific player. I mean, he really is. I mean, he's, uh, he's terrific. I mean, he uh, presents problems. And uh, uh, so, yeah, I do think they're different. Thanks, Coach.